All right. We live. Doing absolutely nothing. Maybe we'll do some study. Maybe we won't. This is crazy, because like right now, there's no delay. We're dropping no frames. Everything's running fine. As soon as I throw a delay on here... As soon as I throw a delay on here, though, we have like... Buku's of problems. Hello, Kush. How you doing? Maybe we'll do some speed coaching. Maybe. Maybe we'll do speed coaching. Ooh, music, baby. Pub God, how's it going? See, I'm doing my speed tests. I'm getting 30 megabits per second up right now. I will field all your poker questions. If you have any. Maybe you don't have any. Is there a way to monitor my up speed? Like have like an up speed monitor? Yeah, send it, pop god. Do you have a recorded? Do you have it recorded? Oh, well then. Good. I don't know what you were at before. I'm sorry for not knowing off the top of my head. But I am glad that you are moving up. I'm happy for you. Very happy for you. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just going to sit here and, and chill and wait to see if the stream stays up. Figured I might as well do this with you guys.
So everything looks stable. Everything looks good. It looks chill. Everything looks good. 22 people viewing. Do, do we have any... Um, Anyone have a session, like a, a recession recorded they might want to review? Yes, yeah, you can send in some hands. Sure. Let's see, how long did I start on play live for? Um, I mean, I played live for a while before. Let's see. I guess not that long. I don't know, six years. I played live. Uh, I started at one two online, mostly out of stubbornness. Probably should have started lower. Definitely should have started lower. I got, I got, I got, I got annihilated. Yeah, send hand. Send them to the send them to the Discord or me on me on Discord or whatever you want to do. We'll do some hand reviews. Send in hands. Uh, I'm just waiting on hands, people. Oop, I have a Discord message. Maybe this is one of them. Let's take a look. It's in a book, yep. Yep. Alright. Let's fit this in here. How? Yeah, but it's not really. It's like 700 megabits, but we're just still retrace. But why? It's the only way to get up the up speed when I needed it to be. Yeah. Um, I see nothing wrong with this. Yeah. This is all fine. Crush. This is a well played hand. I think you can go a little bigger. Like I don't think you have to size down so much here, but it's also okay. Um, as a strategy, seems fine. And then yeah, jamming river seems fine too. I think uh, totally fine as played. Let me get this out of here. Totally fine as played. Yeah, I see. I see absolutely no problems with this hand. I think um, we can go big or small on flop. It seems fine to me. Going with the big size with kings seems fine. Um, having the king of heart to go big with seems fine as well. 
Um, yeah, going small on turn. We'll have a lot that want to go on small turn. King is naturally fine. The eight's actually somewhat good for us because like now we counterfeit queen jack. Uh, and I expect even to this size, I think we get a good amount of folds to the to the small size on turn. We we'll have eight of eight x, so we're not really worried about that many eight x on river. Um, yeah, this is fine. Best way to send PT4 hand history. I would upload, I would copy the hand and upload it into this, into, into, uh, poke dot, dot, how do you get to the, here, this, I would upload it, I would upload it there and then send it to me, send the subsequent link to me over discord or over, um, Uh, because your name is Trent. I don't understand, Trent. What are you asking me? Why she keeps calling you by your name? Are you asking why people call you by your name? Well, like, it is and it isn't, Trent, you know? Like, you're saying it's not, but, like, in another way it is. Like, it's not, but, you know, it also is. Right? I think we're all in agreement there. I think we can all be in agreement that your name... I think we're all in agreement your name is Trent. I think so. Guys, tomorrow, K-Rab. Especially since this is working fine. Sup? Any low stakes, like really low kind of to get started content that you recommend? Like free video, written content, something along those lines. Thank you in advance. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of free content out there, honestly. Um, I have a YouTube channel. I post. I recently posted, like, how I recommend studying, like, Blind Be Blind. Um, there's a lot of free content out there. Like, Run It Once has a lot of free content. Um, lots of different YouTube channels out there if you're looking for free content. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I would just say, like, grind away get volume and then once you're ready to like take your game to like the next level i would buy like honestly kevin rabbit house course like the game plan or something and like one thing i will say i don't think it's reasonable and i think that's what keeps a lot of low stake players in low stakes i don't think it's reasonable to like expect that you will consume the price of content for the stake that you're at right so if you if you want to move up you're going to at some point have to take a risk and a bet on yourself and start investing more money than what is affordable for your stake level. Um, and if you do that and you bet on yourself and you take and you believe in yourself in that way, then you will improve. But I think a lot of low stake players are saying like, oh, well, I'll buy more expensive content when I'm making more money at higher stakes. And I think it's that mindset that keeps them at lower stake. All right, we got a hand posted in the Discord. We got another one. Um, by Kush too. Let's take a look at this. Okay, slow the fuck down, poke it. All right. I expect small. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. I I wouldn't actually mind checking turn either here, but naturally. Going small on turn is going to be okay-ish. Check raise. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the fold is definitely the move. I might even check back river. Um. 
in these earlier position spots one thing that i'll just mention is like big blind should be playing fairly tight like they're gonna have way more suited hands than normal like once you bet here like yeah there's a lot of top pair for them still to have um but i think you can ex keep for your thin bets the ones that have a heart in these spots um And what you want to ask yourself in this spot, right, is like, what are the bluffs here? Right? Like, what are they check raising on this turn with as a bluff? You're playing at what is this, 50 and L? Like, you might just be able to fold here. Because the. Uh, you bet so small, like. If you're trying to say offsuit ASEX, I mean, okay, so like there might be there might be a chance they're bu they're bluffing here, maybe if they're floating flop enough with enough of the offsuit stuff with one heart and then check raising it on turn. It's certainly possible. Yeah, but then once they check, they could have this single ace of hearts, and like that's what check raised you, I guess, and then they pick up showdown value on the river, and then you go for value. Yeah, it seems. I mean, it seems okay. It, it seems okay. My, I guess the one thing is like I would probably just save my turn barrels with uh, cards that have a heart, but not a big deal. It's all okay. Not big deal. Your play's gotten a lot better, Kush, from the other hands I've seen you play. If those are the two hands you have that are representative. Um, okay, one got set posted to the Discord. Where is that? Hand reviews. Are you safe play? Oh, here we go, Zeus. All right, to the old upswing. So, okay, you sent. Where did you send? Uh, that hand seems fine, Panepo. I don't think you have to fold. I think a call is okay. I mean, three-handed doesn't really change anything, though. Okay, you're Zeus. Okay. Well, this is Zeus's hand. This is uh, Pub God's hand. All right, what stake is this? This is 100 and now, like you said. He's at 100 and now. Now we called from middle position. Uh, okay. Mm. You bet small on flop. Mm. I don't even love this turn call to be honest. But it is what it is. Well, I don't think you can fold. Um, this is brutal, though. I, I mean, I see, I see where you're coming from. pretty wild spot this is a pretty wild spot you're right you did have you did have a juicy hand hmm 
I mean... So here's the questions, right? Like, at this point, I think ace is almost always checks. Okay. Folding boats is bad. So it's worth it to say that I think ace is almost always checks here. And that ace king is going to bet. But I'll also may check sometimes may not they almost never get here with a pure king though they totally might have a 10 but it probably doesn't jam yeah i guess it's probably fair yeah i think you're full i guess it's probably it's probably fair it's a rare spot doesn't really matter to be honest um it's not that big a deal but Fold probably fine. Fold probably fine, despite uh, despite all uh, Cap's strong feelings about it. What else we got? We got anything else? Uh, I think it's worth noting safe play or Panepo. You said like three handed in the Discord. Like three handed doesn't really change anything. Um, three-handed doesn't really change anything. Like, minorly, there's, like, some bunching effects or whatever that happen, but three-handed is the same as just playing from the button. Like, you don't need to play wider three-handed than you would normally. Yeah, this is a good point, John Cusack, though. Like, here's the thing. Like, if you bluff a lot, one of the mistakes a lot of players make is they, they project their strategies onto other players. Right, like I, I, so for example, players who bluff a lot also tends to not, um, also tend to not fold enough, right? So you often find people who are really aggressive are also just too sticky, and you you see this a lot because you're you're just projecting what you how you play onto other people, and you you want to try and do that less and less, you know, would be my advice. Um, and the same can be said too of of players who don't bluff enough though they often fold too much right they 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 shut down bluffs a lot and go for value in a lot of spots and so they they assume people don't bluff enough and so they they just they just fold too much you know so you see this all over you see this all over Guys, how things have really things have really uh, tapered down with the old Jack Four, huh? You have an aggro collar tag. Yeah, I mean, you you probably want to like. What's good is like I feel like you want to be the type of person who's gonna call on spots, but who's also totally willing to fold everything in the spot. Can someone give me a Jack Four summary? <laughs> Too much to follow. The chip stealing thing seemed weird, but did it prove anything? Nothing's been proved. Nothing's been proved, John Cusack. It all just looks really wild and fishy, to be honest. Like, it all just looks kind of crazy. But nothing's been proved. Guys, give me more hands to review. Give me more hands to review. Or should we just play chess?
Yes, it is all you hear about these days. I'm not bored of it yet, though. I mean, I'm I'm bored of the old stuff, but I want I want I want new I want new stuff. I want to find out that that Robbie and Garrett um, have a child on the side or something crazy. Sending in a really spicy one. Here comes Kush. Always keeping the stream alive. Keeping the stream alive, people. Page not found. Try again, Kush. Page not found. Kush, get it together. Get it together, Kush. Late Drake sent in one. Late Drake, are you Rob? All right. So let's open this one. Jesus, this is too small. Let's do this. Oh my god. Killing me. Oh my god. This fucking this fucking website. Reset. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Maximize. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright. Rob, your hand is murdered. It's dead. I'm not doing it. Sorry. I I hate the GG player. Some people love it, though. I hate it. Stop it. Stop. Alright, let's do this. Five five. Three bet. Call. Okay. Ho ho ho. Do we dare? Oh, I say we bluff now with five five, by the way. I feel I say we just we just start swinging, baby. It's still frozen on the old hand. No, it's not. Wrong. Gus the Great, you lie to me one more fucking time. I swear. I, so I don't approve of this check down, by the way. But now that we're here, you're saying your set is good, huh? Yeah, I don't know why you raised this river. I don't know whose hand this is. Digio. Oh, this is Digio. Sorry, Digio. Um, I say we we start bluffing now. Continue bluffing here. And we check back when we hit the set. <laughs> that's that's probably the line I would have taken. Okay. We got other hands. Let's see. What other hands we got here? Zeus. Zeus sent me hand number two. Jacks. Ooh, yeah, Donkled. How do I send a PT forehand? You gotta believe in yourself. How do you went through this junk, you sack? Upload it to a replayer. Send it. You can send it as a link here. You can send it. Um, excuse me. Uh, my Discord. Um, I don't think raise is necessary here, but uh, probably okay. Probably okay for sure. <laughs> Donkled twice. Yeah, definitely calling now with the diamond. I'm skeptical. I'm very skeptical of this. Ah, wow. Yeah, I, 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 I think. Okay, so 
So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about the spot. This is, um, can we zoom in here a bit more so we can see this better? All right. Hang on, sorry, we gotta get to, okay, so let's, uh, yeah. Okay, so they bet, so they donk lead, they donk lead, this is our call, ignore this. They donk lead turn, and then donk lead river. These donk leads, I've seen some data that shows like when the, that these aren't super strong, actually. I think it's fairly likely this is like a 7-9 or an 8-9 or some, some kind of bullshit like that. Um, either way, with your hand here, though, your raise... This is a spot, I think, where it's just like, you don't like, you, you don't, you have an instinct that something's up in this hand, so you raise, but raising doesn't really make sense here. You're either, this person's either bluffing or has you crushed, okay? You're, you're never getting paid by better, by better, and you're never getting, you're probably not going to get better than you to fold. Um, so, this is an uncomfortable spot, and while it might seem more comfortable to raise, I think raising just loses you money. And I think you can just call the river. Um, I think it's pretty clear that you would have won. Like, maybe there's a chance they're donk leading with an ace, but extremely low chance, I would say, that they're donk leading with an ace. So, like, you're just, or like with a, like, I don't think they're going to donk lead the turn with like a set or something, you know? So, they're probably just bluffing or you have them beat. And so I think calling is just fine. What else? What else we got? Uh, late Drake. Did I already look at this one? Whoa! Cards up coverage. Someone's playing on Iggy. I wish we could hide the cards. Yeah, whenever you're bluffing in a spot like that, Pub God, you really want a clear idea of like what I'm getting to fold that's beating me. I think that's a spot where you got to be careful of your instincts to. Oh, we're here with tens. Yep, this is good. You you actually have the option to start bluffing with a hand like tens here. You're you're going to be against like Ace Jack. Um, you have a gutter, like you're gonna be against Ace Jack. It's pretty rare you're gonna be against this. Um, Ace Jack, um, even some like Queen Jack, uh, King Ten, and stuff like that. You actually can start putting pressure on King Queen. Like you can have Aces, Ace King, Jacks, like lots of good hands here. So Tens actually make for a decent bluff candidate. But checking obviously okay too. <whistles> Tell me you call. Oh my God. Okay, this call is. F in my opinion, <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> um, they did a good job choosing nines as a bluff. I think this is a fair bluff candidate in this spot. Um, it's probably on ignition, and so they all get turned up. Um, this is this is not a call. I mean, it's nice to know what they have, but this is just not a call. Um, they're gonna have eights sevens they're gonna have ace jack once you check back turn you probably don't have ace king like uh they're gonna have yeah eight sevens they, they can even have queen ten they can have like uh they can probably jam ace queen for value um yeah it's this is a spicy spot for you to be uh for you to be calling not to mention like you'll have ace queen ace ten like You'll have some slow played, like some maybe some slow played kings. Maybe like there's plenty of stuff you can call here with. Your range is really tight. If you're calling this, you're basically never folding, which you're saying they're over bluffing, which they certainly aren't over bluffing. Um, even if ace queen doesn't jam for value, the question is just given the hands they do jam for value, do they find the bluffs with it? Right? So now you have to believe they're bluffing jack 10. You have to believe they're bluffing even queen jack. Like, hands are just super unintuitive to turn into bluffs, in my opinion. Nines are pretty obviously never good, but they might believe in a prayer. Like, maybe a jack is good or something like that. Um, it's just hard to find the bluffs here. It's just hard to find the bluffs here. I mean, 6-6. Six, six, yeah, but I don't even know if they bluff 6-6. Six, six. 
just because they shouldn't be calling one they shouldn't be calling eight nine um and you're also i think giving someone too much credit for i think you're assuming that because they're bluffing nine nine they're bluffing seven six but i think there's a decent chance people just like to bluff when they block the nut when they block nutted hands right and they block nine ten which isn't at your range but that doesn't people rationalize themselves into that all the time um even if they block bluff with seven six they shouldn't have eight nine um and six six right so let's say seven six there's three combos of seven six there's well n no actually they should never be three betting seven six first of all so yeah seven six is never a three bet from the small blind in this position so they shouldn't ever have seven six even if they have it they should they certainly shouldn't always have it so and they certainly shouldn't be having eight nine so those are both stretches but like they have nine nine they have yeah this is just i hate to tell you but i think this is just a fold like even if they might have ace king sometimes they might slow play ace king they might have ace jack they might have they might have aces right they might have aces they might have eight sevens queen ten you add up all those value hands once they 2x pot jam like they need to have you know 40 percent bluffs i think you're gonna have a hard time finding 40 percent bluffs given all the combos of value hands i just said um so in my opinion this this call this call ain't it but you know your pool better than i do so that is just my impression we got one more let's see We're zoomed in too much. Let's get out of here. Ugh, we're zoomed out too much. Let's let's find the middle ground. All right, here we are in 2K. Who saw this in? All right, we got 2K on. Do we know where? Your problem. Who's your problem? All right. Raising out of the small blind under the gun. I like this. Uh, going small seems fine okay interesting i i don't hate this i think yeah yeah no this seems i don't hate this this seems okay um yeah i mean this is naturally a fairly creative hand i mean i think we have to against or under the gun we're gonna have to find some some hands like this right um the only thing here is like by the time we get to the river you just want to ask like do i it's actually possible on turn you get better hands to fold and worse hands to call right like you're getting you might start getting some if they slow played kings or if they had king queen they might be folding the turn uh, whereas clubs might be calling so you might have actually improved your showdown value on turn Yeah. I, do you think you're like struggling to find bluffs in this line so much that well a couple things one do you think this spot's overfolded by asex i i don't think i would take this line I don't think I would take this line. Um, just because I think your hand has a little too much showdown. And on turn here, I don't think we're struggling to come up with bluffs. Maybe against under the gun we are because we're not, we're not betting. We're not, I don't know if you're three betting 10 Jack suited. Let me, um, Yeah, so like, let me, so like, here is our small bind range. Yeah, so we're like, we're, we're going to lack some of this, like, jack 10, queen 10. I think I would prefer drawing from, like, 
drawing from down here. Yeah, like the the nines, eights, sevens department, and like tens and stuff like this. I think I prefer drawing from this, even jacks. Um, naturally, it's good in the sense that it blocks. I, like your turn bluff, I like more. Once you get to this river, though, I think you have enough showdown value and and worse combos than this to choose as bluffs. That's what I would say. Um. Why is Lumina losing its mind right now? My camera is going fucking berserk. Oh, did I? That's what happened. Yeah. Like I said, I would just choose hands with lower showdown, I think. Um, are we, are we, are we good? Yeah, you beat some King Ten of Clubs, you beat some six, seven, eight. I mean, like, you're also going to beat some, like, yeah, six, seven, seven, eight. Um, I mean, dude, it's not, it's not crazy. Like, it's probably fine. The, the only thing is, like, as, as a bluff in theory, it's probably fine. I just don't know if this is an overfolded spot to hands that beat us, right? That's what we want to believe. Um, we just want to make sure, like, when when we're bluffing river, we just want the spot to make sure it's overfolded. Otherwise, why take this? Why, why bluff, right? And I don't know if I buy that this is overfolded. Um... Because they'd be correct, probably, to be folding pretty tight, you know? The other note that I would make us is I think on turn, I think I'd go more geometric than the size that you went with. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's actually not necessarily proof, right? Um because um, let's let's take a look let us take a look um. Because he might be right to be folding some ace jack. Is my point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he could probably fold ace jack. Like, ace five would be a better call than ace jack, probably. Um, but we can just take a look. No need to... No need to leave this up. Ace of hearts, queen of clubs, seven of diamonds. Um, let's say we just go 25, um, let's just do this. Yeah, he might be correct in folding ace jack. So. That's what that's what I mean in the sense that he can probably fold this river fairly tight. Um, it's it's got a free version. It's not f completely free. It's um, hang on, we want to edit this though because they're probably doing something more like this. Um, all right, so we're just going. Uh, um, yeah, we're just range betting. Um, they're calling, and then we got the four of clubs on the turn. Um, so Queen Jack already starting to check, but naturally um, it's going to pot, and we went to not pot. We went to like smaller. We went to what, like 350? Just, we went to like 40%, 45. Queen Jack's betting even less. Um, like I said, I think I would just prefer these combos as bluffs. 
And then we have all the Broadway combos. Um, yeah, it has some rudimentary node locking right now, but it, it'll um, have more as we continue. Um, so, like, for, for example, right now, like, we could, for example, we could delete folding if we wanted to here. And just, like, make them always call. If we wanted to. Which I don't know why you'd want to. Um... um Yeah, his ace jock is probably fine. So we're going to look though. So we get the four clubs, right? And we'll just put in the size that we did, which was like 45%. Um, half pot. Did you? Yeah, I think you went a little less than half. It seems though. We'll just we'll put we'll put half though. Yeah, I would just go geometric, so I would go one third, like 67 for our 67 river. Um, let's say they call, and then we get the, what was the river? Six of diamonds. Um, and then we're just jamming, right? Yeah, optimal is half pot, so two half pot bets would be optimal after this line. Um, oh, you know what? F, hang on one second. I messed this up in the sense that I messed up. Pot is probably. Yeah, 22, so 22 blinds, which means this is 89. Um, this is gonna change things because I, I got the SPR wrong. Let's this run. Yeah, it's tricky to find good bluffs, but like like I said, I, I think you can without going into Queen Jack here. Because your range is tight, right? So like your um Let's delete all in here. And you can just delete check here as well. Just bet. Um call. Four of clubs. We go half pot. Yeah, we're still not using this at all. Um, we're using King Ten, King Jack, primarily King Ten, and again, primarily these. These are really where we're primarily pulling from. So this is again, I would just emphasize this more um, than than this. Yeah. Um, but let's say we go half pot and get called, and then I'm sorry, I forget six of diamonds. Um, guys, an error occurred. Uh oh, it is in beta. We'll have to restart here. Call four clubs, half pot. Is this half pot? 16 pot. Yeah, call six of diamonds. Yeah, it's betting half pot again on river, but again, we'll make it all in. Um, so we go all in. Um, a check of clubs is folding sometimes. Yep. Okay, one thing I'm curious about though. Getting rid of raises. Yeah, it's folding ace four because we're of, of our bluff candidates of choosing five four, right? So we'd rather not have a five here. Um, but like, so for me though, 
Like from out of position. Like, I honestly probably never have these. Um, I probably never have ace four either. We can just make these zero. Um, yeah. Because I think if we change, that's just me though. It was gonna be the six five. It's gonna be the same, pretty much the same hands are bluffing turn. Rubbish. Um, let's just do this. Bet five. Um, sure. See, like, it's interesting. We're sizing up bigger now that I cut out these other hands. Um, go 50% here. Ah, oh, man. I think it has errors sometimes. In position. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. It was having an error. I think right now the dynamic sizing gets a little wonky when you edit it. Um, oh, people still posting hands to me. Yes, they are. All right. So hang on. We'll just go quickly through this. Actually, let me. I do want to. No, not here. I don't. Um, call. Four of clubs. Call. And then six of diamonds. Yeah, and then it goes all in. Yeah, so it's choosing, again, primarily these ones um, to go all in with, these under pairs. Um, and so now once we adjust it, you see actually like ace jack is folding a lot and ace five is not folding that much. Um, so the only reason I made this adjustment was because I just don't think the suited connectors show up here against early position enough. Um, and which which means we're not really blocking any bl any bluffs with the ace five and ace jack is purely a fold. And so their fold of ace jack, I'm only pointing this out because like depending on how you adjust here, it really depends on how you adjust. There are spots where folding ace jack is fine. It's not producing an overfold, depending on how they perceive the player tendencies. All this to say, I just don't think this is obviously an overfolded spot. This is like an in-depth analysis, um, but I don't. I don't think it's uh, obviously an overfold overfolded spot. Um, yeah. If anything, I think turn might be. So like, I actually don't, I think if you size up on turn, you'll do, you'll probably do better, but um, turn might be. But even so, not necessarily from hands that you beat. So, I mean, sorry, from hands that beat you. So I don't think it's super necessary, but. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. All right, so I'm assuming three bet. Oh, no, not three bet. Not a three bet. This is probably a high frequency three bet hand if you're not doing that, but call is fine. 
Oh, we're bad. Oh, never folding this river, by the way. Yeah, no, this is this is a never fold river. Um, for the record. Um, so one of the things we want to look for in spots where we should never fold, right, is 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 spots where a lot of hands fit into the bluff heuristics for our opponent. Um, and it all starts in the turn, right? So for example, on the turn, people like to bluff when they pick up equity. How many hands picked up equity on this turn? Um, a bazillion, right? You got all the diamond draws, all the Broadway draws, all the seven eights, all the eight nines, all the just a fucking bajillion hands picked up equity, right? And the small flop bet only makes it better, right? So small flop bet, okay? Probably a range bet. Cool, we call. They have a shit ton of hands to choose from to bluff. All of these hands picked up equity, okay? They overbet. Oh, good, we call. It's awesome we have a four because we don't interact. We have jack four specifically because we interact with none of their obvious bluffs. Six comes. None of those fucking draws complete. Everything still has nothing. I've Before I've seen the river bet, I'm never folding. So... They 2x, snap call. Next, next hand. <laughs> Alright. No, I mean, it's a fairly standard fold. You're not a nit. All right, here we are, button versus under the gun. We flatted with king 10. We get led at. Uh, call's fine, raise also fine. They go 427. Call is fine, raise is also fine. <laughs> I think we can raise here also as a bluff. We have a good hand to start bluffing with. Easy fold. Oh! <laughs> Oh boy, no, I don't. I mean, the king ten is good. Let's start this. Start this sooner, though. Start this sooner. So one of the things that one of the things that's like nice to bring into the game is this concept of decision fatigue. All right, so it's it's um it's nice. Easy fold. He jammed. Um, so jam jam is fine here. And but one thing that like as a player the reason why we jam in this spot as opposed to putting in two bets is because we don't like playing two streets of uncomfortable decisions on for example as a bluff right uh we as players like like we like to make single very difficult decisions and you can use this psychology to understand why when people might be more like less likely to be bluffing so for example People don't like multi-street, smaller size bluffs. They like single street, really big size bluffs, right? Why? Because we have this concept of decision fatigue. It is your brain fatigues at making difficult decisions consist like over and over and over again, okay? So this is why you see lines like this get taken as opposed to a line where he raises turn or even raises flop bets turn for a reasonable amount and then jams river for a reasonable amount that's harder for a uh, hero to do here psychologically because you you're playing three streets where you're making difficult decisions we want to take that concept and reverse it and make it difficult for our opponent okay so find spots like this where if i can put in a reasonable raise here and then separate this jam over two streets we want to, if we were trying to get our opponent to fold strong hands, we're more inclined to get that if we make our opponent have to make two difficult calls than if we make them make one. Even more likely to make them make three difficult calls, right? So we want to use this concept of decision fatigue to fatigue our opponents to push them to make more mistakes. All right, so spread, spread these lines out over a few more hands. Generally speaking, this is also fine. Rob, I gave up on your hands just because I don't like looking at the at the GG hand history and they're difficult to show on stream. All 
All right. Well. This was just a test if my stream was going to hold up, but it looks like it did. I think I'm going to go now. Thank you all for hanging out. We might try the delay later, maybe try and stream. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you all for hanging out. This was a fun, quick uh, couple hands reviews, and uh, I will see you all later. We're going to throw someone the raid. Wait for it. We're going to throw someone the raid. Um, sure.